as a solo developer, I am 100% of the company. And that means if I have a day where I'm not feeling it and I'm not in the mood to be productive, which happened all the time when I had a full-time job and you kind of phone it in, getting kind of the, the bare minimum stuff done, the things need to get done for the deadline, but pushing off and procrastinating maybe some work that doesn't need to be done until next week, until then. Uh, that happened all the time as back when I had a full-time job, but now that I'm a full-time indie game developer, when that happens, the studio grinds to a halt. The progress forward grinds to a halt, which then makes me feel bad and guilty, and I feel like I'm wasting my time and floundering because I'm not making progress on the game. And that's kind of difficult. It's a difficult feeling to work through, and it's something I've been working through a lot, um, especially being a solo developer and only having so much time on my hands. Like That is my biggest constraint right now. It's going to be like time, energy, and money. I'm funded through 2025. Um, Hexagon will come out early next year. That should um, add more revenue streams to the studio. So money's not a big concern right now. Um, that means that time and energy are also big concerns, but I really realistically have a lot of time. I have a very simple life. I, I like to have a very unscheduled life. So what does that mean? That means energy. Energy is the biggest limiting factor. And, and in that, in that subcategory, it's like creative energy and stuff like that. But boy, it's really hard to not put too much pressure on yourself. For me to be creative, I don't think I'm a good enough developer at this point to basically like phone in the being creative. I could phone in my job as a full-time job because I had professional experience doing Salesforce stuff. So even if I didn't want to, I had built up the skill set to be able to do the work and kind of phone it in and have it be um, adequate and, and good enough. And with game development, I just don't think I have the, the deep skill to be able to be creative, to be able to think about designs critically and make decisions critically and good that are fun because I'm simply still learning. I'm spending a lot of time thinking about things, which means I need to keep that pressure out. I need to keep the the creative juices flowing. And I think I've come to the realization, especially in the last couple months, especially as I was talking to the publisher, there were, I lost a lot of days during that conversation of talking to a publisher because I was really anxious. I was worried about the future. I was worried about the risks of being part of a publisher. And, and there's a channel, uh, there's a video earlier on this channel talking about that publishing agreement and kind of why I ended up walking away from it, if you're curious. If you want to support the channel any further, the best way to currently do that is to go check out Hexagat over on Steam. Make sure you wishlist it. But more than anything, check out the demo, play it, give me some feedback, help me make this game as good as possible. And that'll keep me here making content for you for years to come. And I think through that process, I learned that I wasn't having fun with that. I learned that I need to be in the right mental space, both, I guess, mentally and physically. I need to, to manage my own mental health. I need to manage my sleep. I need to manage the the recreation and, and like the social aspects of, of hanging out with friends and, and hanging out with my partner and and spending time going on walks and, and eating healthy and all this stuff. I need to manage that stuff really well in order for me to show up when I want to do game development with that creative juice flowing, with the fun still there. I don't think I can make a game that is fun and engaging and good if I'm not having fun myself. I ran into that when I was prototyping stuff earlier in the spring where I was putting way too much pressure on myself to make a game that was going to be a hit indie game and super profitable and stuff like that, but that stuff's out of my control. What is in my control is me. I can find happiness inside myself. I can find joy inside myself. I can I can make sure I'm having fun along this journey because the the end results are so out of my control. If this adventure becomes a success, it's out of my control. If I make enough money to fund my studio forever, 
if I make enough money to forego to make up all the money I, I forewent by not having a full time salary, all that shit's out of my control. What is in my control is what time I go to bed at night. When I wake up, do I wake up at six o'clock? Do I wake up at eight o'clock? Do I sleep in until ten thirty? Do I go get myself a coffee? How do I show up and sit down and have fun? That's in my control. So I think as I look toward the next five months, the next month, the next week of my adventure here, that's all I'm trying to do. Make sure that as I'm making games, I'm enjoying the process. I'm enjoying the journey. And I know if I'm doing that, if I'm exploring the space of game development from a perspective of childlike wonder and joy, I'll be able to make a game that I think is fun, a game that I'm proud of, and a game that others might also enjoy.